Good morning and welcome back to Honeybee Farmstead. Um, thanks for joining us today. We're really glad you're here. Uh, we're keeping a record of how Sadie goes with being converted from a dairy cow to a homestead uh, milking cow. Uh, we've had her three days now, four days? Yeah, hang on. We got her Monday so and today is Saturday. So we've had her a little bit. Um, and we've done the process very gently and very um, sort of softly. Yesterday, um, you would have seen that video, she carried on and kicked and, and all that. So that was our probably our worst day. Um, but under advice from other cow experts and stuff, we decided that we needed to get a handle on that very quickly. Um, that was the advice we were given. So she didn't even raise her leg today. So one day of her being quite uncomfortable and having her leg tied sort of taught her, don't carry on, don't kick, don't be, don't be horrible. And she's voluntarily in here now. Uh, we've milked and I'm gonna go back and show you that footage, but I um, didn't do an intro before I started milking, just got into it. So the way we're doing it, which seems to work best for us, oh look at him playing in the background, um, is that we milk and then once, you know, because she does hold back for her babies, which is very standard, um, jerseys are excellent mothers. And then we let the babies on the back half and keep milking the front yeah. half and she lets down again. Um, I'd say we got 10 litres, um, which is great. She is. She is raising two babies as well. But we've also opened the head bale, let her babies feed. Look at this little cutie. Let her babies feed and then left it open and she can finish her feed in there. Now we fill that tub with a very nutritious mix of feeds for her. Um, she is producing milk for our family um, hunt and gather and two babies. So we need to make sure what we take out, we put back in and feed. So it's a good high quality feed. Um, we are looking to fine tune that as well. And I've been in touch with different feed suppliers. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, we've, we wanted to keep a track and keep a record for you guys about the entire process. And you know, the pitfalls that we've come across, um, some little tidbits that we've learned. And of course, every cow is gonna be different. Every situation is going to be different. Um, what you can see behind here is part of the process. She, oh, I'll do that for you. Just let it sit on the ground for now. Um, so she is being kept in here for, I said probably a week. So by Monday, we'll assess again and see whether we think she's quietened and calmed and, and relaxed enough that we can let her out during the day, call them back in overnight um, to lock the babies away. So the babies get locked away from her. She can still groom them. She can still be near them. She can sleep right next to them if she likes, but they can't feed off her so that we get our milk. That's the, for, for us, the best way to calf share in our opinion. So. Um, I think maybe, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, so I'll get back to you on that one. Um, it's possible we could do one of two ways. We can either milk her in the morning, let her and her babies out together um, for the day, and then call all the cows back in, and hopefully she's bonded with the other cows that we have and comes back in with them. And is or part of the process. We clean out the milking stall every day, so normally I do it. Grace has decided she's helping me today. Yeah, we keep everything really hygienic and clean. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So we can either do that and let her out for the day with my cows and then call them all back in the afternoon because, as I've said before in previous video, Bonnie's close to calving and we've been bringing her in at night so that we don't have any predator issues should she carve in, you know, we don't want her to do it in the paddock where there's a possibility of pigs getting her baby as well. So... Um, or I could leave them in here at night time and just let her out with the other cows overnight yeah. and see how I go getting, getting her in in the morning. I feel like that's probably a better way to go. Um, but I'm just going to sort of, you've got to go by feel a bit 
um, in every situation because every cow's personality is different too. So while we're giving you the sort of fundamentals that we've learned, um, every situation's different and they need to sometimes be tweaked a little bit. So yeah, um, I have had a, quite a few of you guys contacting me and sort of asking about getting your own um, homestead milk cow, which is really exciting for me because I just love it. It's such a great um, health thing for your family, number one. But like, I don't know, just coming out in the morning, spending the time with your cow, you know, collecting a really wholesome, healthy product and, you know, having a connection. But also, like, who doesn't want to see some cute babies feeding off their mum in the morning? Like, that's awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it here and... um, I'll show you guys the footage of her being milked. She was really, really good today. Very happy. Uh, yesterday, Les and Meg's bought their milking thing up for me because mine, my two are broken. And I picked up a dairy maid yesterday that needs um, the veins replaced in the compressor and then it should be good to go. Um, so I'll have a big canister and a way better setup happening very soon. All right, come out. The machine that Les and Meg's brought up to use is different to the one that I have purchased and it has a built-in compressor so I know you can hear it running full steam but the suction on her teats actually wasn't very much and when the cows the calves started to feed uh, it knocked the cups off there just wasn't enough pressure behind it um, so it didn't work it took a long time this whole um, video that I've put together here was in fact condensed down from at least an hour um, probably more actually and um, yeah basically the machine doesn't work so we're going back to hand milking and she refused to let any milk down for the machine which was a surprise to me because I would have thought being from a dairy that she would be used to the machine scenario but um apparently not she's very stubborn and very very good at holding her milk back mum hear it Too, but I think she kicked. I would be. She won't kick. She's her baby's there. She's still eating. Good. Ow! It wakes the camera. Can you please get the milk inside straight away, love? Pop it on the bench. See. And put this in the sink. I've got a hot soapy sink. Here, darling. That little extra teat that Grace is pointing at is nothing to be concerned about and quite often cows get that. It doesn't produce milk and is just like a little growth um, and is not dangerous to her. So I'd say we're making progress. She comes in easily and voluntarily. She's getting used to being in the head stall. Her babies are settling in nicely and we are getting some milk. So that's a bonus. We expect it to get a lot better as time goes on and it is only early days, so, so far so good. It is though taking entirely too long for this process to be done, um, but we anticipate that it shouldn't be long before she's got it down to a, a fine 
routine and nice and quick and easy and it will also help to have my new dairy made machine up and running where i'll be able to just pop the teats on and away she goes i do have to say though that i'm really not a fan of buying an ex-dairy cow um, they seem to not really enjoy being around people and are not overly friendly in fact she has shown signs of being downright aggressive and i'm not you know that's the next thing we're working on there you go see how she doesn't get the idea to just pull out gently stay there stay there good girl sadie we've got this and gone to it Go. Hang on the back. Let's do it. Slipped past. Yeah. Slipped past. Two bells are high. Let's do it. Oh. Boom. Now, and later that night, Noah wanted to show you guys some of the little chores that he does, like feeding the little steer and bull calves down on the meadow paddock, um, and also putting out the feeds for all the cows in the shed yard, and yeah, just checking on them to make sure they're all tucked in nice at night and doing well. It's also handy to do another little night check because it's Sadie's first night out in with the other cows and we wanted Pretty to make heavy. sure she wasn't running around silly and trying to go through fences and things like that. We are guys, we're halfway there and you really don't notice carrying two ba bales of hay down a whole paddock. You really don't notice. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at them. Hoof them down because they love it. Hey guys. That's it for us. Um, while we leave you with the steer and bull calves that you guys haven't seen for a while. Second They're eating their over. dinner. It's just on going on dark here. And are, we wanted guys. to say thank you so Second much bail. for joining us and spending your time with us. We love and appreciate you all. And thank you for subscribing. It means a lot to us. To if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon next Woo. to it so that you're notified every time we release a new video. Hit that like button. And until the next video, take care of each other and bye for now.
and she's doing perfectly fine. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, share this on every single social, social media page you're on.